Hello, Mike Kroger here, Finale Inventory. In this video, we're going to go over receiving items with serial numbers against a purchase order with the mobile barcode scanner. So hang tight, this is going to get fun. Let's get started. So let's move to Finale Inventory here. Before we get started, I need to cover a few basics. You need to make sure you've enabled lot ID tracking on your Finale Inventory account. That is done by going to Application Settings. Now you can go to Application Settings here, or just click on your company name, go to the Product tab, and you will see the setting here. It's right here. Use lot identifiers for tracking. Now, Finale sticks serial numbers in the lot ID field. We have one field for all of this. So make sure you use lot IDs if you're going to do serial numbers and you turn it to plain text. So those are the two options to make sure you have set. So if you've got that done and you're set for the for the from the web side of this equation. Now there's also settings on the scanner that we're going to go over. So let's pull the scanner up here so you can see the scanner. On the scanner there are um, settings. So you go to more, 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 and we're going to go to um, settings. And we're going to choose one thing to pay attention to. When you're doing serial numbers, you need to make sure this receive type quantity is a no. And that because you don't want the scanner asking you constantly for the quantity of the serial number. It's always going to be one. So turn off the type quantity. The other thing that's key is learn mode. Receive learn mode is for learning serial numbers. You want to learn the serial number and Finale will store that as a barcode in its system and understand in the future when you go to transfer that, move it, ship it, pick it, it will understand what you're picking um, say just by scanning the barcode of the serial number, not the part number, but just the serial number. And the other thing you want to do is make sure you put serial number mode to auto. Okay, that's going to make sure that Finale, when you're receiving, it's going to ask you for the part number, then ask you for the serial number. And if you have multiple parts of the same or multiple quantity of the same object coming in that have serial numbers, it will only ask you for the part number once and allow you to just scan the serial numbers. So we're going to do that. So those are three options I want you to make sure you, you, you check. Now that we've got our scanner set, let's get going on um, receiving. So I'm going to go to purchase orders in the background so you can just kind of see this is the purchase order screen. Let me minimize my scanner here. We're going to be receiving against this PO right here, number uh, 100,007. It's got three items on it and we're going to record the serial numbers on these. All right, so you probably would want to maybe print the barcode, uh, print the PO with uh, some barcodes on it. You don't have to. Not required if your barcode, if your objects have the barcodes. These are barcodes of the part numbers, not the serial numbers, because we don't know the serial numbers yet. So you'd print this out so that we can use it. Uh, I'm going to use it to assist me in re in receiving this. So let's turn this. Uh, let's pull the scanner back up. Let's see if we can make it through this uh, menagerie. All right. So what do we want to do? Make sure you sync first. I'm going to unhide my camera here so you can see this. We're going to be using this as demo data. What we got here are four. These are four of the objects that are on the, the purchase order, that uh, PI num uh, this part number one. But there's four of them here and one of them sitting over here. And then there's four of this object and two of this object. We're going to record all those serial numbers. All right. And then you'll also notice that each one of these objects have two barcodes, a barcode of the product ID and a barcode of the serial number. Let's get to it. So what we need to do, we need to sync. So I'm going to sync the scanner so that it has all the latest information from our account down into the handheld. As I do, it's syncing this over Wi-Fi. It's OK. I'm up to date. So now I'm ready to do a receive. So I'm going to choose receive. Ask me for the order ID. So I'm going to use that printout that I printed out and scan the purchase order ID off that printout. Of course, if I didn't have the printout, I could just choose it. So but I'm going to scan that order ID and it's going to ask me where am I going to receive this. So I would scan a barcode of the shelf or the bin or maybe the dock. I'll choose, uh, let's just choose A3. So I'm going to choose A3 from the screen here and now the scanner is going to say okay give me the first product ID that you're picking up that's got a serial number on it. So if you look here I'm going to choose this one up here on the top and it's got two part it's got two barcodes on it the product ID barcode and the serial number barcode now if you don't have a serial number barcode it was just written on your product you would have to type that in and you'll see where you can do that here in a second so I'm going to try and gingerly pick up my scanner and try not to touch the wrong things I'm going to scan just the part number so as I get the part number it's now asking me for the serial number 
So all I got to do is scan that second barcode. I'm going to use my finger to cover that other barcode up. So you notice it recorded the serial number. And that's one of five. So notice down the bottom of the screen it's telling me one of five. So I'm going to set this one aside. I'm going to I'm going to scan the second one. But notice I don't have to scan the barcode of the second one. It's the same object. So if it's the same object, I don't need to scan it again. I just get to scan the serial number. So I scan the second serial number. Now I'm going to scan the fourth item. It's the same item, so I'm just going to scan the serial number. So I've got three of five there. I'm going to get the fourth of five out of this row. Just scan the serial number. Now, I've got four of the five, and I scanned the part number once and the serial numbers sequentially. But let's say I was pulling them out of the box, and that fifth one is here, but I don't get it next. So let's move to this one. What would you do? Well, the scanner is telling you, scan the serial number or you press the enter for the next part number. So I need to press this enter button to get it to prompt me for this second part number. So now I can get that one and I'm going to scan the part number and then it asks me for the serial number. So I'm going to scan the second item, the second barcode. There it goes. So I've got the, the serial number for this one. I move to the next one right here just get the serial number and then I'm gonna move to the next one get the serial number now you may be saying hey Mike what happens if the barcode is not on there um, you could uh, as a as a if the serial number is not on there as a barcode well you'd have to type it so you would read that number in and instead of scanning it you could invoke the keyboard so I'd come up here and, and type in the keyboard I could pick the number and then type in the serial number but I don't want to do that, so I'm going to turn the keyboard off. I'm going to go ahead and finish scanning this. So as I scan this last one, I've got the last, and then notice it's green. So it's green down there because we've received four of four. So we've gotten all of those, and we just have the third product and then the one of the, of the first product that we didn't get. So what do we need to do? We need to move into a new product, so we've got to hit the Enter key. So I'm going to do that. So as I hit the enter key, it's going to ask me for this part number. So I would scan the part number barcode, which is the top one. So I'm going to scan that barcode. And then it asks me for the serial number. So I'm going to grab the second barcode. I've got that serial number. And then I need to get this one. Don't need the bar the product. I'm going to scan just the serial number. Well, I got those two. So we've now gotten everything but this one. Now you can see that. I'm going to hit the enter key. All right. So actually, before um, I hit the enter key, well, yeah, let's hit the enter key. Um, now let's move to this last one. Now we got to scan it again, the part number. So I'm going to do this. Got the part number and then ask me for the serial number. So I'm going to grab it. Got it. So note, it's five of five at the bottom. Now I can review all of this. So I'm going to hit the menu as I hit menu and then I can say review. And it'll tell me, hey, I've got five of five, four of four, and two of two. I'm done. So all I need to do is sync this up to the cloud. So as I do, I'm going to hit done, and then I'm going to say, hey, I need, just need to stop. I, there's no more serial numbers, so I can just hit menu, exit to main menu. And notice how I need to sync here. So let's get ready to, to sync this up. So I'm going to change my screen here in the background. You can see how that purchase order has not been received. And I'm going to move this over so you can kind of see that. So you can look here, not received. So I'm going to use my scanner here, and I'm going to... Uh, hit sync. So I need to send what we have done up to the cloud. So I've hit sync. Yes, it's still me. Now watch in the background as I um, tell it to sync. You can see here in the background it's not received. So I'm going to hit sync and you'll see it say fully received here in just a second as it commits. Do you see how it's now gone to fully received? We have transmitted. We've received all those objects in. We've also documented their serial numbers. Where are they going to show? Let's check them out. So if we go up here into the purchase order, I'm going to minimize my scanner now since you don't need to look at that and turn off this camera here. So as we go, we'd go to the shipment tab and you would see over here all of these things say mixed. If I expand, um, I can expand these lines and see all the serial numbers that we scanned in. So you can see them here on the screen. It discovered all those serial numbers. So you can also see those if we were to go look at your stock levels. Uh, I think PID number one is one of them. So you would be able to see that here. There's the serial numbers that we scanned in.
That's how easy it is to scan and receive items with serial numbers.